Hey Capricorn, uh, welcome to your weekly love reading. Um, we're gonna go over your person of interest. What are they about? Who are you interested in? Information on them. Um, we're gonna go over what is your current situation with them. Maybe you have one, maybe you don't, or you're trying to. Um, what is the cause of the situation? How do you feel about what's going on? Your long-term goals, external influences, as well as an outcome card. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For those of you guys that are cross-watching, it can be either or. Don't get upset. Sometimes it's just the energy is what it is for the week, but as everybody knows, energy is always changing. Uh, so with that being said, Capricorn, let's go ahead and hop directly into your guys' reading. All right. Can you please uh, give me some information on Capricorn? Who, who is Capricorn's uh, love interest? Okay, Four of Cups. Possibly somebody that you guys aren't talking to, or you guys are currently single, or, you know, I mean, there's a multitude of things, but we'll go ahead and clarify that. All right. What is uh, Capricorn's current situation with this person? What's Capricorn's current situation with this person? Okay, the Magician. Beautiful. I'm also going to pull one of the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic cards. Give me a card for the situation with Capricorn's person of interest. What's going on with their person of interest for Capricorn? Okay, Five of Pentacles. That's kind of dope. All right. How does Capricorn view this situation? With their person of interest, how do they view? Okay. Page of Cups. Oh, possibly, let me just throw out there who you guys could possibly be dealing with. Gemini or Virgo. Uh, any of the water signs, which is definitely visible here. Uh, possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, more so a Cancer, that's that's what I think. Um, what are some external influences for Capricorn and their relationship? One more time. What are some external influences for Capricorn and their person of interest, their situation? What's, 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 an, what's an external influence for that? The devil? Okay. It could be you, Capricorn. Maybe you're the one that's in control. Or a Scorpio. Um, that's a possibility. And what is the uh, outcome for Capricorn this week? Okay. Eight of Cups. Oh, let me ask your long-term goals with this person, too. What are Capricorn's long-term goals with this person? With their person of interest that they're thinking about right now? Whoa. Okay, seven of cups. So kind of interesting, but you guys are all cups here. So for whatever reason, I definitely think that this is an emotional week. I think that you guys probably have multiple lovers or multiple people that you're dealing with. Um, I think, you know, definitely bottom of the deck is the three of cups. Top of the deck is the lovers, possibly dealing with the Gemini. Um, but again, Cancer is coming in really, really strong here. So I, I want to say this, um, it's very unbalanced. It's a highly emotional week, it looks like, uh, with not a lot of action, but, and not a lot of like overly thinking. And maybe I'm gonna, you know, once I clarify it, I'll see something else. But just starting off, it's, it, 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 it's probably like emotionally draining. That's something that I'm gathering. All right. Why is the Four of Cups here for... Capricorn, can you give me a little bit more information about their person of interest? Okay, Knight of Swords, possibly dealing with a Aquarius, a Gemini, or Libra. You guys could have recently cut somebody off or, you know, pushed somebody at a distance. Um, you guys also, you know, your person of interest, you may be, you know, making multiple offers to them to see if, you know, either you can make it right, if you are in a relationship with this person, 
or if you are single, it's like you continue to ask this person out or, you know, see where their mind is. But I don't know if they're necessarily as receptive to it right now. Tower. There could have been an argument or a fallout, uh, possibly with a Aries, another Capricorn, um, or a Scorpio. What's the energy of the tower? Page of Pentacles. Could have been an argument over either like a child or, you know, money or another person. How does Capricorn feel about this Page of Pentacles that the tower moment was caused from? Okay, Seven of Wands. Yeah. You know, you definitely could feel blocked from this person. I mean, that's definitely something that, that could happen or that is happening. Uh, maybe this person did block you for whatever reason because they didn't want to deal with something. Um, why? The Ace of Wands. Maybe because you guys want a new start, you want something new to happen. Can you give me, let me ask what these ones, give me another card about Capricorn's person of interest. Who are they thinking about right now? Give me another card about Capricorn's person of interest. Judgment. Hmm. Person possibly is a Libra. This person is possibly somebody that you were married to or are currently married to, or that you guys have some type of relationship, whether it's with kids or it's an actual marriage. Um, this person is extremely balanced. Uh, I do feel like I do feel like you really do care about this person. You really do love this person. But for whatever reason, it's like you're constantly being stopped. There's somebody that's stopping you, that's stopping this relationship from continuing. And it could possibly be because of a Libra. It's like there's a tower moment coming or is happening. Maybe you guys don't know about it, but that's why this person is, you know, blocking you or you're at a distance or you don't have access to them as much as you'd like. And I think that you want a new start with them, but you just don't have that ability. It's like you're being stopped. Um, the situation is a, like I said, uh, could possibly involve a Gemini or a uh, Virgo. And that's clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So what's kind of interesting about the Five of Pentacles is I think for you guys, the situation is you feel like you have the ability to change it. You feel like you have the ability, like all the cards are in your area where the cards are, you know, you have the cards stacked in your favor where you at any time can make something better or make it worse. Um... And you feel like, you know, with this person, you do have a level of completeness. And um, what's interesting is, what's associated with this card is you cannot give up on transforming the world around you and making it more similar to your ideals. After all, uh, the world is, your, is the home of our love. So it's almost like you're waiting for this person to possibly come back around and you know offer you that solid foundation it's like you're trying to manifest this Give me a little bit more information what, what's causing this nine of pentacles so either this person is financially well off you're financially well off but you know um somebody somebody is viewing the situation as they're single 
and that it's an ending. You know, it's like there's definitely an ending here. Possibly, you know, the ending is coming because of a Scorpio, because there's death. Or they could be ending something with a Scorpio or ending the fact that they're single and committing to you. Because, you know, let's see, what's the energy of death here? Whoa. The Ace of Swords. So, you know, there's definitely a level of clarity here. And it can be, you know, an ending to, like I said, this Nine of Pentacles, this no longer being single. Um, and it can also be a new start because you do have this Ace of Cups. That's, that's the current situation. I think that you guys found somebody. It's probably somebody new. I think that, you know, there's multiple people that you're thinking about over here. You're trying to figure out how everything works. The magician, it's like you're trying to make sure that your home is solid and that this person can fit into your situation. And, you know, like I said, there's an offer that needs to be made. Now, as far as how you view the situation, you view it as a page of cups. So you view it as something that's very surprising. Something's definitely surprising here. Now, either it's a pregnancy that's surprising, because can you give me more clarity on how uh, Capricorn views the situation? Ten of Pentacles. Maybe, you know, you're pregnant or somebody else is pregnant. Or, you know, you feel like finally things are finally starting to be complete. Your life is finally you know, having that level of fulfillment and finally starting to really come together where you feel solid. There's a talk here about, you know, uh, how to, you know, a level of efficiencies. You know, there's a level of logic here that makes sense to you. And it surprises you how much this person does make sense. Why does it surprise Capricorn? Ace of Pentacles. Because you weren't expecting an offer. So now you have three out of the four. Um, oh no, you have all four aces. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of swords. I feel like this is happening quickly for you. But it's solid. It's very solid. And it could be that you're the one that's making the offer. Who's making the offer for Capricorn? Who's making this offer? Whoa. Wheel of Fortune? Possibly somebody from your past that's coming back around. Possibly a Sagittarius. Uh, it also can be, you know, karma that was handled. It's now coming back. But... Also, to be careful because the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is a Five of Swords. So there's somebody here that's not going to be playing fair, whether it's you or them. And I do feel like it has to do with a Libra because the Five of Swords, or actually, or, or an Aquarius, possibly. Maybe you feel like you have to be the one, like a good, uh, the best defense is a better offense. It's like you have to hit them before they hit you so that you're in complete control of the situation. I said, why? And it's because of the Queen of Swords, possibly Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Like I said over here, there's heavy Libra energy that I feel like has a big hold on this entire situation for some reason. Let's move on since it's already 15 minutes in and I'm fixated on this. Okay, so for your um, external influences, you have the devil. Why? With the ace of wands. Could be a strong sexual chemistry here or something that, you know, it's like you, you want the ability to have control and there could be a level of aggression here or a level of passion that you have for this person. Or, you know, somebody's having sex with a Capricorn, which could be you guys. <laughs> All right, let's be honest. Uh, what's the energy of the devil for the external influence? 
All right, the Page of Swords. Or I'm, yeah, the Page of Swords. Hmm. Like I said, I think that there's an air sign that's that's involved here. So either it's involved for you or your partner, like, and it's somebody that's younger. I do think that either somebody like like it's just like a jump off, or it's somebody that you know it's it, it's like a like a booty call or something. Let's see, because how does um how would how does Capricorn feel about this page of swords with the devil? How does Capricorn feel about these uh, external influences? Seven of Wands. It's probably your partner, to be honest, because you have the Seven of Wands here, or the person your person of interest, because you feel like you'd have to defend yourself, and it's like now it's like okay. You know, now I have to deal with more than one person. Now I have to, you know, defend my ground and express why I'm the best. One more, one more card here, please, for the external um, influences on this situation. King of Wands. You guys could possibly be dealing with a uh, Aries, Sag, or a Leo. Um... Now, this can also be that this person knows what they want. Like, there's multiple people involved here. Like, I hope everybody sees that. And it could be, too, that it's like, oh, you have a jump off? Okay, well, that's cool because he's a page, right? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm over here with, you know, the king of wands. Like, not only does he look fine or he or she is fine, you know what I mean? They do look the best in the whole deck. I know people are going to get pissed, but it is what it is. You know, they're beautiful to look at. Um, but, you know, your partner is dealing with the page. They're dealing with somebody that's not even on their level. That's just the reality of it. So what do you want from this person? You have the seven of uh, cups. I feel like you don't know. You know why you don't know? Three of swords with the uh, ten of swords. Or three of cups with the ten of swords. Because... There's just too many unknowns, I feel like. And I also think, too, this third-party situation, for whatever reason, like, Cap, like, you may be fine kind of, like, tinkering around and, like, figuring people out. But the moment that your partner does the same thing or your person of interest is also dating and seeing other people, it's like, oh, my God, how could you do that to me? So I feel like for you, like, it's shocking that they're doing this. And that's why you're not sure where this relationship goes. You don't know what you want long-term with this person, which makes sense to me. Um, for those of you guys that, brought, that this has brought enough clarity, thank you for watching. Peace.